Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's look, I really want to do a kind of really dark, bold, glam eyes. And the palette I'm going to use is the Ether Beauty Amethyst palette because I feel like it's been a while and I really do enjoy this palette. Nice, rich, deep brown shades, beautiful purple shimmers. Um, so yeah, I wanted to have a little play with this and create something, yeah, a bit bold and a bit glam. So keep on watching if you're interested. So I've already prepped and primed my eyes, so they're ready to go. So I'm going to start off with the shade Pisces, this one here, which is quite like a dark purple with shimmer to it. And I'm just going to take it on a little flat brush that I have here. I'm going to load up the brush. And I'm just going to pack this onto this outer portion and really kind of layer it up. I worry about blending later, but I want to get that pigment down. And the best way to do it is just to load up the brush and just pack it on. I haven't decided whether this is going to be winged out or not. Knowing me, it will end up being a bit winged out, but... We should have to see. I'm going to actually bring this quite far across as well. Because like I said, I want quite a deep, dark eye. Now, talking about Ether Beauty, they have literally just launched a new palette. Um, and as you know, if you're watching for I really enjoy like the Rose Quartz one. It's a beautiful, like soft, cool-toned palette. Um, so if you like kind of really soft, dainty looks... Um, that's great. Then obviously I've got this amethyst one with all the rich bold colours. And if you love purple, then of course you're going to love this. And then my favourite out of the ones is the Solstice palette. Nice warm tones, perfect for summer, beautiful shimmers. But unfortunately, like the Joshua Tree one just wasn't for me. It looked amazing. All the mattes, that like colourful mattes looked beautiful. But it just, I, well, if you watch the videos, I really struggled with it. Um, so, that's just one that didn't work for me but they've just brought out um another one i can't think what it's called off the top of my head but i did post it in my community and i will post it on the screen now and i am extremely tempted to try it out um i feel like because a lot of the colorful ones are shimmers it might work a bit better um but there are a few kind of dark mattes in there that are colourful as well, so I'm a bit a bit wary whether I want to try it or not. And um, it's weird because, especially like in the Solstice palette and this palette and the Rose Quartz, the mattes work really well. I've said before, I think they're one of the best kind of clean beauty mattes that I've tried. But when it comes to like the more colourful versions, it just didn't have quite the same effect. So I kind of want to try it, but I also don't know if I do. So let me know your thoughts down below and whether you think I should just risk it and buy it. I'm going to take, sorry, this is an ABH brush. It came in one of the, probably the Modern Renaissance palette that I used to have. Um, it's quite a nice, good little brush for one being in the palette. But I'm going to take the um, fluffy end now and just start to buff these edges out. I will pick up another shade in a minute, but for now, I just want to soften it just as it is. Do you know what I'm going to try and keep this winged? I mean, rounded. I'm just using very light pressure just to go back and forth and buff and soften this. Do you know what, whilst I've got that colour, I'm also going to grab it on that flat side and just drag it along the lower lash line as well. And right up, kind of into that inner corner bit. I'm not going to smudge out too much, I kind of want it to be relatively close to the lash line. Just soften it slightly. Okay, I'm going to pick up a, another shade just to buff out that dark one. So I'm going to go in with Meditation, which is kind of the only, there's only really three mattes in here. It's the lightest of the neutral tone mattes. It's just a little bit on the fluffy side of that brush. Tap off. And just softly go back and forth on these edges. Just to really make sure I'm happy with the blend. starting to wing out isn't it oh well I can't help it 
Now speaking of new palettes, I did actually for my birthday got given a new palette by my parents. It was kind of my sister mentioned it to them that they think that she thought I'd really like because I think I've mentioned before I really love Kaylee Emue. Um and I really loved her Urban Bible palette she brought out and I just think she's a really good artist but also a really nice person and funny and down to earth. Um but obviously she's just got her own beauty range now called Cash Beauty. And so my parents did get me the um Colour Trip palette. So that will probably feature in the next video. I might do kind of I might do two looks in one video, one with the neutral stuff, uh, maybe one bit more colourful and it's got those kind of liners at the bottom that you just wet and you can create like wing liners or editorial graphic liner. So I'm intrigued, I have played with it a little bit with more of the neutral shades and stuff but um, a little bit of the colour but I might just yeah create some looks, a couple of looks for a video so if that's something that sounds like you'd like to see, then let me know. I think I'm happy with that. It looks like because I'm facing a window and there's a shadow this side, it looks like this one's a bit dark and more winged out, but I don't, looking in the mirror, it doesn't look that way. Maybe we'll just add a bit more of that dark shade, Pied Pisces back into that. Now, I really want to add some shimmer to the lid, but I don't know which one to go for. I mean, do I go for a purple, or do I go for some of these neutral shimmers? Because I haven't really played with these neutral shimmers, because I feel like with this palette I want to use the purples. So maybe... But, well, that one's very pretty. Maybe I might use that one, actually. So I'm going to use Transformation, this one here. Do you know what I'm actually going to use it on my finger? Pick some up. Oh, that's a beautiful shade. And I'm going to go ahead and pop this. This is like the inner third. So I don't want to bring it all the way across. I will use a brush to neaten up that inner corner. Oh, that's pretty. Yeah, I definitely think shimmers sometimes work so much nicer with the finger applying. Just gonna soften those. Right, I do have a little bit of fallout, but I'm just gonna buff that away. That's a really pretty colour. It's not too intensely purple, it's kind of got a reddish tone to it, which I think is really nice. Then what I think I'm going to do is add Mystic. the shade ooh, Mystic and that will be in my inner corner. I'm just using the flat end of this brush. I've only used this brush pretty much the entire look. I look so that's always handy. And just pop it in and I might drag it quite a bit onto the lower lash line. Just for a little added something down there. Yeah, I'm very happy with that look. What I'm actually going to do is take the Lily Lolo black eye pencil. And do you know what I am actually going to fill in my waterline. Don't usually tend to do that, but I feel like it would work really nicely with this look. All I'm going to do is load up my lashes with the Ilia Limitless Mascara. Okay, for lips, I want to keep it quite nude. So I'm actually going to go in with the Nabla Lipstick in Rock and Nude. It's been a while since I used that. And it's quite a nice cool tone nude, so I think it'll pair quite nicely with this, um, this eye. And I was going to add a gloss, but I think actually I want to leave it as it is without the gloss. So that is this look complete.
So yeah, I really just wanted to go with some really dark, bold, kind of glam-like eyes for today's look. And I want to use the Amethyst palette because it has been a while. Um, but I really hope you enjoyed. Let me know your thoughts and let me know where you think I should uh, be tempted to pick up the new Ether Beauty palette. And let me know if you want to see kind of my um, couple of looks, looks using the Colour Trip palette as well from Cash Beauty because... Um, I'm excited to really kind of play with that one. Uh, so yeah, I really hope you enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.